Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create a vector icon uh, using Google Drawings. So first go to drive.google.com, click New, and then go to Google Drawings. Make sure to title your draw Google Drawing. And then I want you to go to File and Page Setup, and then Custom. Go ahead and change it to 10 by 10, uh, 10 inches by 10 inches. Click OK, because we want our icon to be squared. Now I'm going to show you how to create a vector image. I like to use um, another image out there on the internet. So go to Tools, Explorer. You can type in any image that you want. I'll type in Panda. And click on images. Go ahead and choose an icon, or sorry, choose an image, and then drag it into your uh, page. All right. So, what I like to use is the polyline for my vector drawings. You, I would recommend using curve, but it takes a lot of practice. But due to time, I will go ahead and use polyline. I like to zoom in, not that close, but um, I like to zoom in and then create my shapes. Now for vector drawings, you are actually creating shapes. As you can see, I'm clicking to make, um, I'm clicking around making lines and then I go all the way back where I started and there you go, there's a the shape. I'm going to create shapes for for areas that have the same color. So for right now, I'm going to use, I'm going to create these shapes for the black areas of the panda. All right, now I'm going to select all of these shapes that I've created. I like to take out the line colors, I like to make it transparent, and then I change it to black. All right, so now I'm going to create a shape for the rest of the body, which is, looks like it's mostly white. Make, it trans make the line transparent change it to white. Now I want this to go in the back. So I hold command for the Mac. I hold command and press down. And there you go. Okay, now after you create a a shape, you can actually double click and then adjust the vector points like that. Now it's time for the eyes. I need to zoom in really close because it's very detailed. All right, now I'm ready to delete this. All right, make sure to click on the select button whenever you want to select. All right, there you go. There is my panda. Now I would like to create the border. So I just use the shape. I'm going to make another box. All right, so I want to add um, the eye, another eye um, on this side right here. I'm going to click and hold shift, 
and click all the objects that I want to duplicate. So I press Command C for copy and then paste. Let's see how it looks. Should be slightly smaller. All right, so now I'm going to sh add some shading or a shadow. I want to imagine that the sun is coming from here. So it's hitting the panda this way. So I'm going to create a shadow. All right, so if the sun was over here, I would imagine that the shadow is um, over here in this area, in this corner. So I'm going to now change it to this color. And I basically need to, I basically need to bring this back. So again, hold Command, and press down. And there you go. So there is your shadow. I'm gonna make it a little lighter. All right, there you go. Um, now I'm going to add, I'm going to insert Word, Word Art. And you get to choose any font. And to change the adjust to adjust the the word art, you can click on any of these boxes, and it'll manipulate it anyway. But let's just say you you want it to still look like this, but the size only changes. You're going to hold Shift and then click on a corner. And there you go. Now I also like to make make my icon look like it's kind of folded. So what I'll do is create another rectangle, make it dark gray three, and then you're going to make it transparent. So now it looks like it was, it's a piece of paper kind of folded in half. All right, so there is my icon. I hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and try it yourselves, and I'll see you next week.